Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of fractions, specifically how we can compose and decompose them, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's make sure that we know what these two terms mean. To compose and to decompose. When we're talking about decomposing or composing fractions or numbers, compose simply means to put together kind of like adding, but you're, you're putting things together to make something larger. And then decomposing would be to break something apart into smaller pieces. So let's just look at a basic fraction here. I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to break it up into fourths. Easiest way to make fourths is to cut it in half and then you can cut each half into half. And I'm going to shade in this one part right here. I'm going to go ahead and label that. This is my one fourth. And this is a unit fraction. We learned about that in a previous video. A unit fraction is when you have a whole and you break it up into many pieces like we did here. And you take just one piece. The numerator is always one. One piece of that. But if I were to take this next portion right here shade this in, this would also be one-fourth. And let's say I wanted to shade in this third portion over here. Now I've got another one-fourth. So if you put these three portions together, we have a larger fraction of three-fourths. This rectangle is broken up into four parts and three of them are shaded. But if you wanted to break them apart or decompose them, you could say that 3 fourths is really 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. So that is how we compose a fraction 3 fourths. We can say 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth compose or they get put together into 3 fourths. Or we can start with 3 fourths and we could break it apart, decompose it into 1 fourth, 1 fourth, and 1 fourth. What you need to see from this is as you start understanding about adding fractions, when you add fractions, first off, the denominators always have to be the same. We're only going to add fourths with fourths, fifths with fifths, and so on. And when you add, you add across the top. The numerators add 1 plus 1 plus 1. That makes 3. You don't add the denominators. 4 plus 4 plus 4 stays 4 because we're still dealing with these fourths. Let's look at another example. So let's see if we can take this circle here. And I'm going to break it up into eighths. So to make eighths, you make a cross and then you take each of those fourths and you split them in half by putting an X. And I'm going to shade in five eighths. I've got one, two, three, four, five. So this is a representation of five eighths. But if I wanted to decompose this, if I wanted to break it down into the individual pieces, well, you can see that what I have are I have five different slivers that are shaded in. I've got one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, and one eighth. And then finally, my fifth one eighth gives me five eighths. So you can decompose the fraction five eighths into, remember, we're dealing with eighths, so the denominator is always going to be the same as the whole here, the eight. But now we're breaking down our numerator of five into five unit fractions. And that's simply going to be one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth. Now, why don't you take a try? I have a rectangle here broken up into pieces. Take a moment, see if you can name the fraction and if you can decompose it into unit fractions. Go ahead and pause the video and do that. And when you're done, unpause it and we'll check your work. All right, hopefully you saw that this is the fraction 3 sixths because there are three shaded pieces out of six total pieces. And that is going to be decomposed into 1 sixth plus 1 sixth plus one six. Those are my unit fractions I'm going to use. 